as expected, Multnomah, Washington, and Clackamas counties did not yet apply. They won't likely be reopening until at least June. Our team coverage continues tonight with Jenny Young. She's live with a breakdown of all the work it's going to take before Multnomah County can even consider applying. Jenny? Good evening, Jeff. Well, Multnomah County Chair Deborah Kafori was asked today if she could estimate a day when the county would reopen, and she said that would be irresponsible for her to answer at this point. She said she doesn't want to give false hope, but one thing she is certain of, if the county is going to reopen safely, they need a lot more money. I know that everyone is anxious to learn when we're going to reopen. I know that um, my own children ask me every day, when are we going to reopen? The truth is that Multnomah County is not ready to reopen. Questions thousands of families are discussing. Why isn't Multnomah County ready to reopen and when will it be ready? In a virtual meeting on Thursday, officials outlined some of the reasons they can't and won't apply to reopen. We don't have many people in Multnomah County yet immune to this virus, so we still have potentially a lot of people at risk uh, of, of this illness and its consequences. This week, Multnomah County launched a new web page that shows where they stand in each of the categories required by the governor to reopen. The boxes with the green check mark show the counties met the most basic criteria, including a decline in hospital but scroll down and you'll see there's still a lot of work that needs to be done to meet the requirements for contact tracing, including hiring nearly 100 more contact tracers. We need trusted community members, folks with impeccable customer service, uh, a commitment to protect the public's privacy. And if you take a look at testing capacity, tests are being done at the required rates, but they still need more testing sites for underserved communities. Leaders say none of these goals can be met without more financial help. But right now, honestly, the help that we need seems out of reach. Chair Kofori says Multnomah County received less than 2% of the $1.7 billion the federal government gave to Oregon counties. Multnomah County is home to about 20% of all Oregonians, but we have 27% of Oregon's cases and 40% of all the deaths. That is nowhere near enough. Let me say that again. It is not enough adamant about that. So uh, what we know, another roadblock to reopening PPE. First responders were told don't have enough. However, or uh, Multnomah County's hospital systems do. So if you want a breakdown of uh, that web page that we were talking about, go to coin.com. We've posted it on this story. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News. Jenny, thank you. They